The Office of the Directorate of Public Prosecution has an approved structure of 862 state prosecutors, but the institution only has 323, or less than half of the required workforce handling all criminal cases. The fact that only 37.5% of staffing is in place is part of the reason the Directorate is holding a three-day symposium. Acting Justice Minister Wilson Mururi Mukasa opened the meeting in Kampala. We are grossly understaffed. We are not present in about 101 courts. That's without putting the newly recruited judicial officers. Just yesterday a list came out of new judicial officers who have been recruited. About, I think, 28 of them. And judiciary is recruiting every other month. If you don't now have prosecutors to take cases, what is going to happen? Which means the judicial officers are going to be there sitting and by the way, as we speak now, most of them are sitting because 75 courts, 75 courts are without, completely without a prosecutor. 101 are without a full-time prosecutor. But staffing alone is not the only challenge plaguing the DPP's office. A state prosecutor in Uganda earns a gross salary of 1 million shillings, while a state attorney earns 2.7 million shillings before tax. The director of public prosecution, Justice Jane Abodo, linked her officer's law pay to insecurity. You go to court alone with 15 defense lawyers. You are handling a case and the whole courtroom is jeering at you. You can imagine that. And this is a prosecutor who doesn't have transport because we don't have cars in the ODPP. Don't have transport. This is a prosecutor after handling the case, after objecting to bail, is going to enter and the bail is going to be granted. And this prosecutor is going to share the same taxi with the accused person who has been granted bail with relatives of an accused person, you know. Eh? So the animosity and the, the threat on the prosecutor's life is real. One million, when 30% is deducted, you get about 840. Can you really get a house in a better place than in a slum? So you find that all this actually goes into security. These officers in security came to light with the assassination of Joan Kagezi, a principal state attorney in 2015, at a time she was prosecuting the 2010 terror cases. Because we are the ones who are objecting to bail. We are the ones who are praying for a maximum sentence. They actually think that we are the ones who tell the judge what to do. They don't understand the other side. Actually, as prosecutors, sometimes we even feel that the criminals are more protected than us. Three years ago, government made a commitment to solve these challenges and Minister Mururi Mukasa gave an account. Those that can be met immediately, they will be met. Like let's say recruitment for instance of additional manpower, that I think is going to happen in the next financial year. And then uh, a little bit of um, increase in pay because of the uh, thinness of our pass. On the prosecutor's security, an issue expected to dominate Tuesday's Joan Kagezi Memorial Lecture, the minister said, So all this is being undertaken and uh, it will obviously be improved. Some analysts believe inadequate welfare support makes prosecutors vulnerable to corruption owing to personalities involved in some of the cases they handle. Edward Muhumza, NTV.